The cosmetic and beauty industry is a billion dollar business with products that promise to turn the clock back with their newest creams that claim wrinkles will disappear forever. But can they deliver? I sat down with dermatologist Dr. Ronald Moy who tells us more on the subject. 99% of all these ingredients don't really do much. They're, they're nice, they come in a nice package. So 99% of everything you buy at a department store doesn't really help your skin. They're moisturizers. Maybe by moisturizing effect, they help some fine wrinkles. If you really want to get down to active ingredients, it's not antioxidants, it's not the moisturizers, it's not all this stuff. It is really the ingredient in Retin-A, which is a prescription drug called tretinoin. Right. Um, that drug has been, there's a lot of scientific studies to show that it does improve wrinkle lines, helps the blotchiness. Some of the bleaching creams work, although they are only low concentrations in the over-the-counter. Um, the DNA repair enzyme cream that's in our line does help repair actual DNA damage and can help treat precancers and, of course, help wrinkle lines and, and thicken the skin. Uh, but then there's a whole bunch of new ingredients that you may not be aware of, mm -hmm. ingredients like growth factors. Growth factors can thicken the skin. And a lot of the aging that we get is from that thinning skin, like, you know, around my eyes, you could probably see it starting to thin and get wrinkled or on the back of my hands. And, what? and there's and there's a variety of new things, you know, some peptides and a variety of uh, other ingredients. But for the most part, the antioxidants, which we've talked about for years now, has not shown to work at all, whether you take oral antioxidants by pills, you know, beta carotene, vitamin E, vitamin C, it has not shown to prevent cancer or slow down aging. And the same topically, you know, the clinical, there's very little evidence. There's some evidence in test tube work and evidence in animals, but actual human clinical studies has not shown to, you know, in any large studies, good studies to really show that any of the topical antioxidants work, which really, you know, sort of tells you that, you know, almost everything that's available is really sort of hope in a bottle. It's fancy packaging, but not really helpful in terms of making the skin look better. And when we come back, it's all about the angels raising money for one very special charity at Trump National. And in our Green Beat, Mark J. Dottie tells us how the PV Transit might be smelling better in your neighborhood. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Deputy Chris Knox, here to remind you of the importance of sharing the road. It's important to slow down when you see orange cones in the road. Many days, men and women are involved in road work, so always slow down even below the speed limit and be aware of the workers in the road. By following these rules, we can all share the road safely. This message is brought to you by the City of Rancho Palos Verdes and the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. And in sports, our newest angel, Albert Pujols, will put down the bat, just temporarily, and pick up a golf club. On July 26, the Halo Slugger will introduce his charity to our community. It's the Pujols Family Foundation. The charity raises money to support children with Down syndrome, disabilities, or life-threatening illnesses, as well as children living in the impoverished conditions in the Dominican Republic. Now, Albert's daughter has Down syndrome, and it is his hope that the charity will help to promote awareness, find hope, and create special memories for families that have children living with Down syndrome. Now, the tournament will take place at Trump National on July 26, and for more information, you can go to Albert's website. It's PulholzFamilyFoundation.org, and we hope to see you out there. And now in our green beat, Mark J. Dottie tells us how the Palos Verdes Peninsula Transit Authority is going green with the purchase of five new buses. 
Tired of being behind stinky buses? The Palos Verdes Peninsula Transit Authority has the solution. Palos Verdes Peninsula Transit Authority, or PV Transit as most of our residents know, uh, we just purchased five new buses powered by compressed natural gas. The five buses are in service. Uh, they seat 24 passengers. Uh, they're all equipped with seat belts. And the exciting thing is with the compressed natural gas is that you're looking at a low emission fuel that's almost 100% domestically produced. So low emissions, domestically produced energy source, and the cost is about 20% less than gasoline or diesel. So it's a win-win situation for both our agency and also the residents of the peninsula. The five buses being purchased will cost over $700,000 and will be funded by federal and local transit capital funds. We carried approximately 162,000 passengers last year on our fixed route service, and we carried approximately 8,000 passengers on our dial-a-ride service that's used by the seniors and disabled of the peninsula. This means very low emissions, better smelling buses, and lowered fuel costs. The PVP Transit is a joint powers authority consisting of the cities of Rancho Palos Verdes, Palos Verdes Estates, and Rolling Hills Estates. Funding is provided by these cities, Los Angeles County, and Metro. In the U.S., we are paying as much as $4 per gallon, while the price of natural gas is between $1 to $2 per gallon. That's why AT&T, UPS, Verizon, Waste Management, and others are switching to natural gas. They can save millions on fuel costs. Tune-ups and oil changes for natural gas vehicles aren't needed as frequently because compressed natural gas burns so much cleaner than gasoline or diesel. With the delivery of these five new CNG vehicles, all of our fleet, 27 vehicles, are powered by alternative fuels. We have 14 uh, buses powered by compressed natural gas, and the remainder of the vehicles are powered by propane. So no diesel, no gasoline. The regular PVP transit fare is $2.50. The senior and disabled fare is $1.00. Transfers between PV routes are free. Transfers to and from MTA and Torrance buses are accepted. Uh, we offer interagency transfers with Metro, uh, Torrance, and other transit agencies. Those are only a quarter, so once you board and pay our fare, pay an extra quarter, and you can use that transfer to ride throughout Los Angeles. And transferring between PV transit vehicles is free. Remember, taking public transportation is a great way to live a little greener and save some money, too. Reporting for this week's Green Beat, I'm Mark J. Dodd. Thanks, Mark. And now it's time to catch up with our travel pro, John Clayton. If you want an amazing sight here in Southern California, check out Catalina. It is a wonderful getaway, and when you look across the coast there, it's 22 miles away, and I have that song in the back of my mind, but it's a great, great place to go. Here's a clip from a show that we did about marvelous, magical, colorful Catalina. I see an interesting thing that we're sitting in this little, what do you call this, golf cart? These are our golf carts. I see, I, I say it's interesting because there are basically more of these than there are cars. They are. They're the right size for the streets. To get around town, they're absolutely perfect. When is the best time to come to Catalina? I always recommend what I call our secret summer. The secret summer? The secret summer. And that is after Labor Day. Once kids go back into school, we normally have that beautiful Indian summer. The water's still warm. The beaches are empty during the week. If you really want a, a beautiful weather and a very, very quiet time, the midweek days are wonderful in September, October, and November. Part of the uh, thrilling things that we're going to do here, I say we're, it's actually Jessica, <laughs> is going to go on the zip line. Somehow, whenever I think of the word zip, I think of zippers. I don't know why I think of zippers, but anyway, <laughs> Jessica's going to go on the zip line. And you were just telling us, what is uh, the zip? I mean, tell us a little bit what you were saying. Well, the zip line actually begins at Descanso Beach Club. And you go as a group, and it's really a fun experience for everyone. You're trained down here. They put you in your harnesses, your helmet, all your safety gear, and then you're driven up to the top of, of the uh, canyon, and you go from one platform, you zip across to the next one. There's actually five different zips. It's the longest zip in, in uh, 
the uh, United States, they do have longer ones outside of the country, but it's thrilling. And you land at different platforms, and then you watch your friend come down, and they zip across. And it's a very fun bonding experience for the people that, that go. And a lot of people that are afraid of heights, they challenge themselves. They, they're determined they're going to do this. Have you done it? I have done it, and it's very fun. My husband's done it twice. I just needed to say I did it once. <laughs> I sort of thought it was, yes, young people that did it. Oh, no. I think our oldest one so far has been in his 90s, something he's always wanted to do. It's actually re relatively passive. When you're landing, the guides are there to sort of catch you and slow you down. And otherwise, you're secure on a double harness, double line, zip line. It's a very safe thing to do, but it is thrilling. What are some of the things that you've enjoyed doing here? Oh, there's so much to do in such a beautiful environment. We went shopping. We had some really wonderful meals at some great restaurants. We were able to check out things like the... Uh, the submersible boat so we can see what goes on in the sea life um, underneath. As I said before, the the place that we're in right now is such an iconic part of the Catalina. Uh, the ballroom and especially the movie theater. So until we meet again, this is John Clayton saying, please enjoy Catalina and goodbye for me. And goodbye for me, Jessica McKay. See you next time. Thanks, John. And finally, we leave you with some music from the Picnic and Pops concert at Peninsula High. If you would like to hear more from the Peninsula Symphonic Winds, you can always go to their website. That will do it for us. From everyone here at RPV TV, make it a great day.